All right, guys, we got a windy day in Pennsylvania, and we're going to show you a couple of things to do with your tomato plants outside if you have windy conditions. And we're also going to show you how to improve the root structure of your plant. So right here, we got LA and our little, what kind of tomato plant is this? We, we're not sure. We think it's a mutation of, of our ratatouille. That would be our second mutation. If you go to rotherain.com and read the Hibernian Mysteries Part 6, you'll see how our early tomato came about. And there's a strong possibility this was another mutation 15 or so years later. So we're just growing these for experimentation with our other three species. Now you'll notice here that the tomato is getting too big for the dome. You don't really want the central stalk touching the top. So what we're going to do... And it's also touching the side, right? So you, you don't want burn, that right? either. But we're not so concerned that the leaves on the side burn because your link, your circuit to the archetypal beam that produces tomatoes in the heavens is your central stem. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the dome off and we're going to build up around it so that the central stem does not touch the dome again. All right, so what color bucket should we use? Let's use the yellow one. You like the yellow one today? Yes. All right, so we're going to grab some nice soil from our compost pile. We have some more right here. Now the dome protects them from wind and cold and increases the temperature inside. Tomatoes like it. Let's see what we got for worms. Oh, we got a, we got a bunch there. See there? Worms are our friends. They transubstantiate the particulates in the soil and turn them into beautiful compost. There's All no right. substitution. Alright, ready? Yep. Clam shell. Give it that too. Come this way. Watch it slip it. So we just build the hill up like so. You know what else we're going to do? We're going to turn this this leaf stem into a root. We're just going to bury that also. So you're going to cover up most of your plant, turn that little leaf stem into a root. Look at all these worms hanging out here. Correct. Then we're going to come back with the dome that was too small for it. We want to keep as flat a surface on the top as possible. Can you see that? We're putting the label north so it doesn't lose any sun there. And we're going to angle the other label down. So no sun is lost. Beautiful. So that's how you protect your tomato plants from the wind and the elements. Did you show them that the label's facing north? Oh yeah, north? label's okay. facing north. And so, so you're not losing any sun. So that's how you increase root structure in your tomato plants by healing up, I guess we call it, and and adapt them to your tomato leaves. Yes. And it seems like every time we shoot around here, there's a train. But I hope you enjoyed that short video, and I hope it was available to you. Watch, walk back there, you don't know what you're And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.